running out wide. The Porsche there slips off the road, and that is Matteo Jaminet letting Katzberg go through. So Jaminet losing out. Katzberg then gains one place, does he, as he comes up towards the line. Through they go. I think he might have given it back, actually, because in theory, overtaking behind uh, uh, before the safety car line not permitted. Change for the leaders. De Filippi goes through them. So he makes his move and he's gone by. Has he? Conor de Filippi up front. Jeffrey Schmidt down to second. What's going on for third? Renauer is on his toes to try to find a way ahead of Spengler as they turn their way down towards Hugenholtz in these atrocious conditions that have got probably as bad now as they were at the start of the race. The two land Audis then, first and second. Conor de Filippi leading the way. Jeffrey Schmidt down to second. And de Filippi set to push clear, I would have thought now. Jaminet keeping Katzberg at bay. But now the BMW goes to the inside line, going down towards Kreiflach. Does he go through? He's still alongside on the inside. Wait to see what comes out of the corner. They remain side by side. This is brave stuff by Katzberg. He's going to go through on the inside line, is he? Jaminet stands his ground on the outside. And Katzberg still can't make the move stick. He's got the inside line here for nine. Outside for turn 10, through the gloom, which are the headlights ahead, they're the Porsches. So Nick Katzberg threw everything at it, he's almost in the back of the 911 as he tries to elbow his way through and he spins! Round goes the BM and a big hit indeed as into him goes Sven Barth. The Corvette head on into the BMW and Nick Katzberg limps on with the bodywork falling off the car. It's going to be a safety car, it could even be a red flag this because there won't be time I wouldn't have thought to get the two cars moved and go racing again. And so, let's see what happens next. You've got two cars stranded, the safety car is deployed, but that, I fear, will take you to the end of the race. Nick Katzberg tried to get past the Porsche. He lost it. He was hit absolutely head-on by the Corvette. This is how he saw it. So he lost out on the outside line. He went to the inside, tried to prise open the door. There was a nudge. Loses traction. Round he goes and wait for the Corvette. Bang. Big hit. It puts the BMW back in the right direction, but it goes effectively no further from the outside. There it is. The BMW spins and Sven Bart plows into him. And Katzberg lucky not to get hit by Jules Gounon, who was going through. Now, there are some teams that desperately need this race to at least complete one more lap for their newly gained position to stand rather than it to be a red flag. But the safety car has been deployed, so that is our fourth safety car period of the race. I was a bit previous when I said our final one a little while ago. So there it is from the outside. Round goes Katzberg. And that, I'm afraid, that blow you see from the Corvette is not just a blow to the BMW, but also to Philip Eng's championship hopes, because rather than banking points, it is a retirement. So was Katzberg wrong to keep trying? Should he have banked the points? Well, it's academic now. He's out of the race, Eng does not score, and Nick Katzberg, rare that he blocked his copybook, but that's a certain amount of ink upon it. And the land team watching that and seeing the impact as the head-on comes from the Corvette, Wolfgang Land, former racer himself, appreciates what both drivers have gone through. And a real shame for Sven Bart, because that Corvette was running nice and strongly in seventh place, but now gets no result at all. It's rare, in fairness, that the car is that far up the order, but where in the end of all of that did Luka Stoltz and Luka Ludwig get to 11th, not quite breaking into the points, but as Conor de Filippi then brings the car through, Christopher Mies and Conor de Filippi will win the second race of the weekend in the ADAC GT Masters. It is a land 1-2 as they make their way up towards the timing line. So number one, Audi scores the win. Second goes the way of the number two sister car, Jeffrey Schmidt brings it home. Christopher Hasser having done the hard yards at the start. And then third, Florian Spengler and Christopher Zanella. Christopher Meese, a happy man, a race winner. And Conor de Filippi, the American who first came to prominence really in European racing when he came to the Formula Ford Festival.